If you're using Unbounce for your landing pages and you're trying to capture your UTM parameter tracking code into your CRM, I'm gonna show you how to set that up in this video. Now, when we talk about UTM tracking code, we are talking about, uh, it's basically tracking code that Google owns. Um, and it stands for Urchin Tracking Module. The reason why it's called that is because uh, a company, I believe called Urchin Software Development or something like that, is the one that came up with this code. Um, and Google ended up purchasing that company and now um, it's stuck. So. The short code is UTM, that's what everybody knows it as. And what it simply does is it allows you to put different sources in your UTM, in your URL, and it will basically add it to the end of your URL. And those sources then get passed through to your form and into your CRM or wherever you're, you're saving your data. So there's, um, five main parameters, um, campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, campaign term, campaign content. Not gonna go into details and all this, um, but that's just kind of the basics of setting up UTM URLs. Now I'm gonna dive into Unbounce and show you how to get that those URL parameters from your link into Unbounce and then how to then get into your CRM. So if you're familiar with Unbounce, um, this is a form here. If you don't have a form on your page, you can grab one over here and drag it in. Once you have the form on the page, you can, you can go over here and edit form fields. So here we have our basic uh, forms, um, first name, last name, and business email. But you'll, you'll see here below this, I have UTM campaign, UTM source, UTM content, UTM medium. So um, I'm going with these four parameters here. Uh, so what we'll do, well, what I've done here is I've selected hidden field. What that'll do is it'll bring over hidden field here. And now the user won't see this field, but whenever that URL parameter lands on this page, It'll, it will match to these hidden fields and it will pull that data in. So whenever you are creating these fields, you need to make sure you copy this word for word, or sorry, to the, it has to be exact to what the parameter is. So campaign, make sure there's no misspellings or anything there. Um, and then type it in UTM underscore campaign. And then you'll do the same for the other ones, source, uh, medium, and so on. And that's it. So once that's set up, there'll be no default value or anything like that. Once these are set up, go ahead, done. And you'll notice those forms won't show up on the page. They're, they're hidden. But whenever your URL parameter, um, whenever you have a link with a URL parameter in it, it will pass on those hidden fields and then into your CRM. So, now that we have that set up, what you can do is go into your integrations here. Um, I'm using HubSpot. They have some native integrations with Unbounce, but if you don't have this na any of these native integrations here, you can also use Zap. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I do it with HubSpot. Um, you basically have to log into your account. Once you're logged in, you can configure field mapping. And we're just gonna map those fields. So first name, first name, last name, last name, email, email. So very simple. And then you're gonna go to UTM campaign, UTM source, UTM content. Now, your CRM might not have these fields already populated in there. So you'd have to go ahead and create those fields. Create the field, UTM campaign, UTM source, UTM content, UTM medium in your database. And that way, whenever you're trying to match these fields, it'll get pulled in into your, in your database. So now that we have those fields set up and it's getting pulled in, when leads come through, you'll know exactly where that lead came from and you can start um, monitoring your campaign to see what's working, what's not, and then you can manage it more efficiently and make better decisions.
Uh, one thing I wanted to show you too, if you are running Facebook ads, which is a common platform we're using when running ads, uh, you can create a URL parameter down here in your Facebook ads. Um, they also have a, a cool way to just build a URL parameter. Again, if you are building these, if you need to build a URL parameter, you can do it in this free tool that Google has. Um, just search UTM tracking code and it, and it should pull up. Um, so you have source, uh, medium, campaign name, you can add those in. It'll it'll create you a link. You can actually create a shortened link too through Bitly. I don't suggest doing that with Facebook because um, Bitly can cause some issues. Um, but you can also build a URL parameter in Facebook and I'll kind of show you how we typically do this. Um, for campaign source, we usually choose placement. Now placement will tell you if it's a Facebook newsfeed ad, a, a Instagram reel, Instagram story. So it'll tell you where that, um, um, where that traffic came from. So not only tell you where it came from Instagram or Facebook, but also tell you um, what area it came from. So then we also have medium. I typically use ad set name. By the way, what I'm using is called, uh, I think it's called dynamic parameters. So you don't have to write in the source. You just, Facebook will pull the parameters um, dynamically, um, which is really cool because it'll give you really um, specific information on where that lead came from. Um, campaign medium, uh, I use another dynamic parameter for, I use ad set name. So that way I know what ad set it came from. Um, campaign name, I usually just call it Facebook ads um, as a general campaign that we're running. You can get more specific and say, you know, summer sale or something like that. Um, campaign content, I usually use ad name. So that way, now you know where it came from, you know what ad set that was in, and then you know what ad it came from. So you get pretty specific um, on where those uh, leads are coming from. So you can hit apply. Now that you have those parameters set up, it will automatically add it to the end of your URL up here. Um, and again, whenever you set this up, you need to make sure the, the form on the page that this is coming from has those hidden fields set up and then getting pushed into your CRM so that it tracks it. So hopefully that helps you answer your questions on UTM tracking on your unbounced pages.